A woman found the body of a fairy, who came back to life, after drinking her breast milk. She's been chased by a monster for her breastfeeding. Alana is a single mom and a dancer. Today she's taking her son to the countryside for a while to find some inspiration. A young single woman with a baby caught the eye of the oig neighbor. He came over to Alana's house to say hello with a warm welcome. Alana didn't see any problem in breastfeeding the baby in front of him. So he was shy to stay long. After he left, he continued to spy on her. Even when Alana went off to the woods for inspiration, the baby followed his mother with his short legs. Suddenly he found something in a hole in the tree. Alana rushes over and slaps it out of his hand for fear of hurting him. And what falls to the ground doesn't look like a normal creature. It looked like a combination of a man and a bat. A dry corpse. Curious. She took it to her neighbor and asked him what it was. The white neighbor took a look at it and calmly replied that it was a bat. Alana went home and got busy feeding the baby. When she remembers the disgusting corpse is still in the house. She pinches the edges of the cloth she wrapped it in and throws it in the trash. But on her way out, she spilled the bottle. Breast milk flowed down the table and into the trash can. The milk dripped and wet the corpse. Overnight, the corpse was full of milk. The next day, Alana was dancing in the yard. The baby looked in her direction but acted like she was scared. The monster hides behind a tree to spy on her. It looked like it was made by soaking a dry corpse in breast milk. Alana didn't notice anything was wrong. Just when the monster was a few steps away from touching Alana, the baby cried out. Alana heard the noise and rushed over to calm him, but realized that he had lost his bottle. So she took him to look for food. She opened the refrigerator and searched around, but didn't see the bottles of breast milk she had stockpiled earlier. This is a bit strange. She remembered putting a lot of breast milk in the fridge. And it's not like anyone would steal it. Could it be that some animal did it? She tried to ignore this and immersed herself in the world of dancing again. She was oblivious to the fact that the creature outside the house was mimicking her every move. At night, she turned off the light and went to bed. A moment later, there was a strange movement in the darkness. She was so frightened that she took out her flashlight to check it out. The first time she turned it on, she didn't see anything. She looked at the sleeping baby next to her. Three seconds later, the noise started again. She looked at the door and saw a strange figure reflecting on the wall. She turned on the flashlight again and saw a monster. Alana lets out an octave high scream of terror, then grabs the baby and rushes out of the house. She ran to the boat to get the baby as far away from the creature as possible. She puts the baby on the board and starts the engine as hard as she can. Suddenly the baby's cries disappear. She turns around and realizes that the baby is missing. At this point, Alana was desperate for her baby. She rushed home to get an antler to fight with the monster. But halfway there, she decided the antlers weren't enough to kill her, so she picked up an axe. She ran into the woods. The shadows of the trees in the darkness looked terrifying. Maybe it's because she's a tough mother, but Alana didn't back down. She wandered around for a while and finally heard her baby crying. Alana followed the sound and found a cage made of tree trunks. The baby was trapped inside. It looks like the monster may have left for a while. There are also many milk bottles scattered around. It seems that the thief of the breast milk is this monster. The woman raises the axe to chop the cage. Alana cuts a hole in the cage in three minutes. She got in, picked up the baby, and turned around to see that the monster had not only returned, but was staring at them, breathing heavily. Just when Alana thought she was going to die, the old neighbor heard the commotion and showed up with a shotgun. Although his marksmanship needs a lot of improvement, he was able to scare the monster away for a while. The old neighbor cautiously walks towards the direction of the monster's escape. When he's not paying attention, the monster's claws slit his throat and he becomes its food. Alana, on the other hand, sneaks away with her baby while the monster is eating, but she didn't have long to run before the monster caught up with her. Alana saw the hideous face approaching, and in her panic, she noticed the bottle in its hand. She suddenly realized that this was a monster that loved to drink milk. She had no choice but to unbutton the bottle to distract the monster's attention. While the monster was gulping down her breast milk, she took out an antler and stabbed it in the brain, ending the monster's life of evil. After sunrise, Alana took the boat and left with the baby. At the end, I can only be thankful that the monster was awakened by breast milk. If it had been awakened by human blood, the mother wouldn't have been able to use her advantage to kill the monster. And it seems that not many monsters have lost their lives because of gluttony. Is this trying to tell us that gluttony doesn't end well? You can subscribe to Nostalgic Recap and leave comments if you have any ideas. See you next time.